Hey guys, it's Kev Pert here. I've seen on Reddit some people have been requesting how to practice wall arrows, and you know, there aren't really any detailed videos available. Uh, so, these are just some methods that I use that work for me. You know, I'm by no means a pro at wall arrows, but uh, hopefully, these methods work for you too. So, let's get right to it. Just head over to free play. Uh, the first thing you need to know is how to serve the ball. So, just come up to the ball and kick off, and you just hit the center or kind of the top part of the ball. and just have it roll along the ground nicely and you'll kind of get a feel for how it comes off the wall. Now once you learn how to serve out the ball, you can consistently practice with high repetition. So it's a useful skill to have. Uh, and this is exactly what you need when you're trying to build new technique. So the next thing you want to practice is just learning how to jump off the wall. So what you want to pay attention to is the angle of your jump off the wall and it's just something you get a feel for. So try and do a double jump off the wall and see if you can make solid contact with the ball. Uh, you're gonna whiff, you know, personally I, I whiffed a lot when I started out, but when you do, you just make a small adjustment and you try again. Uh, so this is just something that improves with high repetition. So just spend like a good 30 minutes, maybe an hour in free play and just practice jumping off the wall, use a variety of different angles uh, and just adjust that angle so that you can make solid contact with the ball. And what you'll soon find out is that with a good first jump, you can often make solid contact with the ball uh, without using boost or without adjusting the up and down movement of your car. Next thing we'll cover is the dodge roll. So you just serve yourself out the ball, jump at an angle, and see if you can just make solid contact by spinning sideways into the ball. And this is just something that you get better with practice. Here, the ball came off the wall a bit, so I just delay that second spin. Uh, when the ball is really close to the ball, you just do a quick dodge roll. There again, the ball is separated from the wall. Uh, so a couple things you can you can work on uh, in free play is that you can practice clearing the ball over your goal. So you can just set it up like this, uh, just roll it up, and the ball before it floats over your goal, you can just clear it. Uh, there I just did a quick dodge roll, sandwiched myself between the ball and the wall, and just cleared it. And that just gets you out of pressure. Uh, you can also clear the ball when you're in offensive pressure. So you can just roll the ball up like that, uh, and go for the clear. That wasn't the best example of that. So you just try again, make an adjustment, until you get it right. So that's much better. Next thing you want to practice is pulling away from the wall. So a quick thing you can do is just turn off ball cam, go on the wall, and jump and hold left stick down and pull away from the wall. Once you're a little comfortable with that, you can practice adding a little forward spin to that. So you just jump, you pull away as in hold left stick down, Add a little boost and spin forward. And you can just do this around the map. When you're comfortable with that, just start serving yourself up the ball and see if you can just jump, forward spin. You don't have to use boost in the beginning. Uh, just go for simple technique. Uh, when the ball comes further off the wall, you can add a little boost, increase your reach. And just go around the map, see what you can do. Make some plays. That was a pretty good center. So you can kind of see, you know, where it might be useful there, you know, you're just pushing the ball up the pitch. And just experiment. Right, try and make some defensive plays like that. And just like we did earlier, you know, you'll you'll want to practice a variety of different angles, some more vertical, you know, practice setting yourself up for shots, wall passes. You know, there I went for the rebound, so that's something you can work on. This is something I just came up with while I was playing free play. And you know you can use that combo I just showed you and sometimes you can make plays like this so just experiment have fun with it now let's learn how to control your car uh, whether it's sideways or upside down so what you can do is head to rookie aero training and just jump off the walls and see if you can hit the ball into the goal uh, 
One thing I, I do is if I jump off the right wall, I pull left stick down into the right when I jump. Uh, on the left, I do it down into the left. And this really helps me get that initial angle uh, so that I can meet the ball. Uh, so what you want to do is with every drill, you just do one on the right, one on the left, one upside down. And you can feather your boost while in the air just so you can focus on hitting the ball. When you want to make it a little more difficult, you could do continuous boost and hit the ball at more pace, make it more match-like. Uh, you can also do pro aero training, uh, and you can just kind of double jump and so that you can get really high up in the air really quick. And you just want to make small adjustments, uh, and you really want to pay attention to the up and down moves of the car. And this is really useful when you're doing your sideways aerials, because uh, they're going to affect how well you can hit your wall aerials, especially if the angle of your jump is wrong and you need to jump up or down, keep yourself afloat, and you're going to miss a lot, so you just keep practicing. You know, here I made a few mistakes, no problem. So just a good rule of thumb to have is you know, try on the left side, try on the right, try upside down, and if you miss, you just keep going until you score. And now we can try some advanced techniques. So playing and understanding the corners is a little different. You can start by rolling it up one ball and jumping off another. And what you want to focus on is just making contact at first. Uh, you'll kind of soon realize that, you know, like we covered before, the angle of your jump is the most important factor in you hitting the ball. There, my angle is really bad, so I just use boost to make, you know, a huge adjustment uh, to make contact with the ball. And that about wraps it up. So I think I've covered quite a bit. You know, what you want to do, just so you're not overwhelmed, is just break down this video in parts, rewatch it, uh, and then just focus on a little thing at a time. Now, if you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Uh, hopefully, these methods are helpful to you. And if it just helps out one person, then I'm pretty happy with that result. Uh, hopefully you'll see a huge improvement in your wall game. And if you have any sticking points or any feedback, just leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you.